Hi, for this video what we're going to do is we're going to find the critical value Z naught or Z star depending upon your text. It could be something else. Um, just This is the critical value um, when you're using a rejection region. For this one we're going to use the TI Inspire and um, this is when our alpha is not on a table. So sometimes you're asked to find an alpha that is not on the table and this would be that case. So the rejection region is always determined by alpha. So alpha is 0 0.08, so we would shade about 8% of our area. And what we are looking for is the Z star or Z zero, depending upon your textbook. From here on out, I'm just gonna use Z sub zero. Um, that corresponds to this alpha level. So in the calculator, what you would do is you would use inverse norm, and I will show you how to get there in just a minute. Alpha zero comma one. I'm gonna just write out all of them. For a right tail, what you would have to do because of the fact that this time a right tail is talking about the upper tail, this one up here, and remember that our calculator is programmed to find from left to right. So um, we would have to look for the alpha below this, so we would do 1 minus our alpha, 0, 1. Okay. Um, and for a 2 tail, you actually have to find both of them. So for a 2 tail, what you have is you would draw out your picture, and you would shade both tails. This time though, your alpha is split half on each side, so this would be half of your alpha and your other half of your alpha would be here. So we would just do inverse norm, one half of our alpha, zero and one. So what I'm gonna show you now is how to find that on our calculator so that we can fill in our Z naught scores or our Z star um, values. So wrong calculator, TI Inspire is what I'm doing on this one. So what we are going to do is we're going to open a calculator screen, go to menu and statistics, and this would be under distributions. Um, this is the inverse normal is what we are looking for. So our area is going to be for our left tail is going to be 0 0.08. And then it would be zero and one, we would just keep that. And our value is negative 1.405. Typically, we only um, report the first two to three. Negative 1.405. For the right tail, remember that it's going to be the same area as this one, so it would be positive 1.405. Um, but just to show you how you would find that, um, what I'm going to do instead of going through that whole process again is I'm just going to grab this and then I'm going to take and insert one minus in front of there and then that way I don't have to type it all back in and see that it just gives us the positive. Um, for the two tail test, I, you can't just put that it's positive and negative 1.405 because that's not the case. Remember that it's half of alpha. So what we could do again, sorry, I should have closed that calculator out. Um, what we can do is we can go up and grab, um, I didn't go far enough, hold on, let me go back up. Um, I'm going to grab this one and then I'm going to change this to, um, you can either change it to one half, so 0 0.5 times 0 0.08 or you could just write it in as 0 0.04 and notice it gives me negative 1.75. That only gives me the negative value, um, but remember that the positive value is the same, it's just the opposite side. So the two tail test has two critical values. Um, your value could be either below negative 1.751 or it can be above positive 1.751. Um, both of these would be the rejection region. So if you ran your test and it was in either of these regions, then you would reject. If not, you would fail to reject. Um, as always, thanks for watching.